Welcome to another edition to the Assassin's Sports Show, guys. Thanks for the love, appreciation you bring each and every day. You have to face some the place. I cannot do this show watch. I got thank you for likes, thank you for shares, thank you for your comments. And guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. I cannot do the show watch, I guess. Plus, guys, if you like the content, you like the show, you like everything about this show, hit that subscribe button. Become an assassin today. Guarantee, baby, guarantee. To all my assassins, wherever you at, thank you so much to be part of this show. To my new assassins, welcome. To my original assassin, you know who you are. And thank you so much for sticking with me each and every day. That's why y'all assassins. That's why y'all kings of kings, man. Because y'all do this thing each and every day. Y'all bring it strong each and every day. First of all, y'all been amazing with the comments. Keep on bringing the comments strong, guys. Amazing. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, guys. So guys, let's get down to Dolphin Talk. Um, Cameron Wolf came out with an article and he had he talked about he talked to Brian Forrest about Tua and the criticism of Sagero article. So I'm gonna touch on that. Then the list the, the list came out for officer coordinator position. And I'm gonna tell you the two guys that I want and the, the two guys that I think should get the job. But it was only one guy so my favorite guy I'm gonna talk about and my second guy I'm gonna talk about. But um these two guys, they whoever they pick, it's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna to touch on that. So guys, let's get the show started. First of all, thank you so much guys. Thank you, thank you. Like I I said again, the goal is guys, 2K. Let's bring this to 2K. Like I said, we had haters time and time again saying that this show it it's not gonna do nothing. Non believers, um, you know, just, just, you know, whatever the reason is, um, they say you're gonna do a YouTube channel, it's not gonna do anything. You only gonna get 20 people, and Jeff proved them wrong. So, thank you for that, guys. So, let's go, the goal is to 2K, let's bring it to 2K, baby. And I believe in my fans, and my fans bring it strong each and every day, and that's guaranteed to all my assassin. Yeah, assassinate YouTube, let's assassinate YouTube, and let's bring this show up. Each and every day. So, guys, let's get the show started, man. So, um, I'm going to talk about Cameron Wolf, um, ESPN writer. You know, I made a video last night talking about, um, about Sagara Arco, right? And I'm going to touch base on that. That's Bernoulli. His article, he's reaching for something that is not there. And I'm going to say why he's reaching. He's reaching for something that's not there and, and wants to discredit Tua for whatever reason he has. He, he doesn't believe in Tua. Segura does not believe in Tua. And Flores told Camp, listen, Tua has a ways to go. But the progress I see, I liked. And and it's basically, he came from a bad injury. He, he came, we didn't think he was going to play this year, and he played, and he played well. He had his ups and downs like any rookie, but he learned from it. And you see, he doesn't the, do the same mistake over and over again. Now, Flores there's a touch on, he got to trust his eyes a little bit more. He has to believe on his uh, receivers a little bit more. He did touch about that. But he said, but that comes with time, you know, but... Flores did say that he made all the right reads, but he just didn't make that big read when he tried it. Basically, he went with the game book, the game plan. He he was not Fitzpatrick that when the game plan is not working, he was just flinging it everywhere. That was amazing. That, that Flores said, but he and that's why I've been. If you go back, that's why I say it. to us so much believe in his coaches that. He said, well, the coach knows what's best, like a teacher. He knows what's best, so I'm going to just, I'm a rook. I'm just going to learn from the coaches and take what the defense is giving me. And sometimes Flores even said, he has to break off of that and things not going to go perfectly and you got to react. But he's a rook and he's going to learn, going to learn from that. Flores, just a hell of a coach, first of all. And he, and he said, I like where he's at. I like the progress. And he said, the first year, it, it's just getting the speed game, the speed, how everybody's coming after him. 
he said he did say he expect to uh, to make that jump to his second year. That's what the the organization is exci like excited about Tua. So again, so the philosophy, if you look at, it, it's different, but but it's the same thing. Yes, he Flores did criticize a little bit Tua, but he believes in Tua. Say, but you know what? He's a rook, so he's not gonna make the Fitzpatrick kind of those because he does not believe his receivers. He has not been there long enough. He was rehabbing, whatever the case may be. Not an excuse. It's fact. So that's what's, what's up. So, so, so Gary could write whatever he w writes. Bullshit he wants to write. He always write. He wrote bullshit about Gasicki his first year. That he's not a tight end. That shit, yeah, let's go ahead and cut him. So you cannot listen to Sagero. A lot of times, because he gets his own agenda. Like I, I told you in the last video, he has his own agenda. So don't listen to them, because half of the article yeah, I read, the players didn't quote. He didn't quote the players. He made the shit up sometimes. So again, you got to what's fact and what's real. So that's that's but that part, right? Let's go to the off off. Uh, uh, the OC job, right? So the list came out, offensive coordinator job, um, came out. Now, the two names that I want, that I want, and I don't care, like, the two names that I want. If Hamilton, I think he's a hell of a coach. If you can't get him, then I want, I want uh, Mike from the... Uh, McDaniels, I want him. Do sign him, do whatever. I think that dude is gonna be a beast of a coach. Now the bad thing, both coaches, they only gonna be here a year or two years, and they gonna get a offer um, head coaching jobs. That's the bad thing. But I like Mike McDaniels or Pep Hamilton. You give me one of like sign one of them. Those are those guys I like. Those guys. I will fight for. Why? Because they developed quarterbacks. Hamilton developed uh, Andrew Luck. You see what he did with Justin Herbert and other guys, right? And that goes a long way with me. You develop good quarterbacks. You run a nice offense. Now, Mike McDaniel, McDaniels runs um, a different kind of offense, like a a more spread West Coast kind of thing, and he, that's what he likes. So again, yes, he might not be the OC in San Francisco, a running coach, but he's more a run, run, and he 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 spreads it out, and he learned from from the head coach of San Francisco. And I can't think of his name right now, but so you know what I'm saying. So he has learned from that. Hamilton, and listen, I love Hamilton. Either or, whoever, they, I want one of the, these two guys. If you sign Hamilton, I'm good with. I like Mike a little bit more, but I'm fine with it. If Hamilton comes in, I'm fine with it. Those are the tops. The top, top to me. Because I think they could, they run an offense that two fits. That you could build around. Now, the best, everybody, listen, Mike or Hamilton, you got to be licking your lips to come to the office. If they offer you a contract, you sign that. Why? Because they're going to have a wide receiver. They're going to draft a wide receiver right off the bat. They're going to draft a running back right off the bat. Now you say, now you got Arbor Russell coming back. You got Hearns coming back. You got Parker still here. You got Gesicki still hurt. You got weapons. You got an offensive line, and now you got weapons. And maybe you draft the offensive line in the second round, Alex Littlewood. Now you got your right tackle, your whatever you want to do. Now you got you got a beast of a line, dude. It just you could call us Little Alabama, the Alabama South, because now you got weapons. So so, I'm telling you, whoever takes um th this job. I'm telling you, watch out. The Dolphins are going to be rated high on offense. Because Best Flores has done his homework for it. It's smart. 
Brian Flores knows what he wants. And he saw it was not the old the old OC from last year was not good enough. And they didn't resign him. They didn't fire him, but they didn't resign him. Now they say we need a younger guy. There it is. So I give you the two names, guys. The two names that I want. It's gonna be awesome to see who they gonna and the best thing is the interviews are over. Right? It's done. I didn't even know they even started the interview process, and it's done. They interview all the guys. Now it's basically it's who they want and who's going to take the offer. Like, my guy is Mike and Hamilton. Those are my candidates. And I'm telling you, it's spreading hairs. So that's what I say. I'm fine. The other ones, I don't want. I want those two. Pick one and 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 and, and be done with it. I, I just like those two guys. I think they are smart, unique in their own way. And I, I, listen, I like bo both of them. I, and Hamilton was great with quarterbacks. Had the red up quarterbacks. The other guy, the same thing. Running backs. I just think you cannot. It's not a a losing situation. Whoever you pick, but to me, it's yes one of those things you have to pick. Listen, it's hard to pick, but I like Mike, but I'm okay with Hamilton. And, and let's see from there. I mean, I'm just excited. Can't wait when they finally announce. And and I'm I'm telling you, I'm making another video when they announce. If if it's my guy or if if the if it's Hamilton or Mike, whoever it is, I'm telling you, I'm gonna be excited. I'm gonna go off the roof because I think Miami just built a coaching staff because you already got the defense a coach, defense coordinator coach that did an amazing job. His first year, and it's just amazing job. And I was iffy about him, but amazing job. Now you got these guys coming in, and if you put that, now you got a, a staff behind that. Oh my God, man, I cannot wait for it. So guys, um, that's my thoughts. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me about the um, Tua thing about um, Cameron Wolf article came out talking to Flores. To, um, um, tell me what y'all think about the candidates, who y'all like, who y'all don't like. Um, so all that good stuff, guys. So guys, I'm out. Thank you so much for watching the video. Remember, we're trying to get to 2K. Remember that, guys, to 2K. We're trying to get to 2K. So thank you so much for watching the videos, for sharing, liking, hitting the bell, all that good stuff. Because you know, one thing, man, this is y'all show. Y'all y'all the face that run the place. This is all about y'all. Guarantee. Good. If y'all might not agree with me, disagree with me, but it's all in love, fun, and, and all that good stuff, man. But again, guys, I'm blessed for doing this. Thank you so much for, for being with me each and every day, for listening to me. And, and give me y'all point of views. That's the biggest thing. Y'all give me y'all point of views. And that's awesome. We could have a debate. Now, y'all might not agree with me. Y'all might get frustrated with me. And that's okay. But you know what? I respect everybody's opinion. And, and that's a beautiful thing, guys. And if we got respect, that's that matters. So thank you so much, guys. God bless. See you later, guys.